Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and White Sox fans, especially. Got an update for you. Two big trades that the White Sox made for two players that they had to get, in my opinion. One of them more so than the other. But let's get into it. The first is Cesar Hernandez. The White Sox have traded with the Indians to get Cesar Hernandez in exchange for left-handed pitcher Connor Pilkington. So um, the White Sox Pilkington the uh, Cleveland Indians. So we got um, we got Hernandez for a song, and now we have a second baseman that can fill in at second base for the uh, injured Madrigal, and we don't have to keep running the uh, revolving door at second base that we've had of Mendick and uh, Lurie Garcia and assorted other parts. So Hernandez does help in that respect. Now Hernandez. I mean, he's nothing special. He's hitting 231 with 18 home runs. He has a little bit of power, a little bit of pop. That's good. We need that. Doesn't hit for average, though. Doesn't get on base. Um, and he's not really that great hitting for average or getting on base against righties or lefties individually. He hits about 238 against righties and 217 versus lefties. With uh, the bulk of his power, it seems, coming from uh, the left-hand side. So, um, the other trade that they've made, and this one, I think, in my opinion, this is the bigger one, is we traded with the Cubs to get um, Ryan Tapera, relief pitcher Ryan Tapera. Now, um, he is a little bit more of a, uh, a big-time acquisition for us. He has an ERA of uh, 291 and a whip of 078. So he allows fewer than one man per inning on average on base. So we needed that, and we traded um, to get him. We traded left-handed pitcher Bailey Horn. So that is the update on that. I think both of those trades, you know, we didn't have to give up any of the big guys. We didn't have to give up Sheets. We didn't have to give up Berger. We didn't have to give up, you know any of the big names in our system. And we and we got the help that I think we're definitely going to need. We now have another arm out in the bullpen, and that is going to be especially uh, needed because we put Evan Marshall on the 60-day DL. So Evan Marshall, we're not gonna see him the rest of the year. Um, and they also, let's see what else we did. Um, we released right-handed pitcher Tyler Johnson, probably as a result of the acquisition of Tyler and or Cesar Hernandez. So that is what the White Sox have been up to. It's nice to see that they did something because we definitely needed them to do something, especially in the bullpen, and they did it. Um, but it does help that we've got a real second baseman out at second base. And that's good because it frees up Lurie Garcia to be like a super utility guy, which I think he's better suited being rather than playing every day. Um, so that's gonna help out too, um, now that we've got Hernandez. And it also subtracts Hernandez from the, um, also subtracts Hernandez from, <laughs> my phone is just blowing up. Um, it subtracts Hernandez from the Indians. So it also, it's kind of like a, kind of like a double whammy for the Indians because it makes us a little better helps us out a little bit, and it makes the Indians a little bit worse. So, um, that's how it goes. Um, I think those trades are going to help, especially while the injuries that we have are still healing, like we don't have Robert back yet. Um, um, Eloy has really not hit his stride yet. He's going to need some games to get up to speed. Um, we don't have Grandall back yet, so... Well, we're missing those big bats in our lineup. It's going to help a little bit to have Cesar Hernandez, and it's going to help to have Larusa be able to have a guy that he can bring in right before Hendricks, um, who can you know hold the other team at bay until Hendricks can slam the door. 
So that's how I feel about it. I like both trades. We didn't give up a lot and we got some help on some level at least that we needed. Um, and uh, so how do you guys feel about it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money. And I think you're going to find that the content that I put up is uh, really good stuff. Um, I talk about the White Sox. I do football picks during the football season. I do a lot of Stratomatic baseball and Stratomatic football. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Take a look around the channel. See if there's anything you would like. But in the meantime, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.